everyone, it's Tyler. Trailer 3 for Rapid React dropped last week, and we're back for another trailer breakdown and analysis. And if you haven't seen Trailer 3 already, keep watching right now. Otherwise, if you've already seen it, you just want to get the analysis and all the crazy speculation that's going to go along with it, click the time code below to jump right to that. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. Fun is gearing up for the 2022 season and is looking for advertising partners that would be a great fit for our fans and also make it possible to keep us creating great content. If you're interested in your company or brand reaching over 100,000 unique individuals who are actively engaged in FIRST for either recruitment, brand positioning, or product engagement, go to firstupdatesnow.com forward slash info or reach out to us at admin at firstupdatesnow.com for our advertising partnership deck. And let's get your brand started on First Updates Now. Well, Trailer 3 decided to focus less on game elements and more what's happening in the background. And while this video seems to really focus on the black tote, it seems pretty apparent that we need to look at what's in the background. And, and yes, there's lots of water game teasers as well. So let's dive right into the teaser number three. Uh, if you remember we left off, we had the uh, Ford truck uh, coming in here uh, and delivering the black tote that we saw. Uh, and our first drop right here, uh, of course, lots of water game references. But I think more importantly is to point out, and we've seen... Some talk in the community this as well is, is this pothole, and this could be a representation of potentially rough terrain or at least not a smooth field uh, that uh, some of us may have been expecting with this. But uh, if you look at the FTC game, Freight Frenzy, they don't have a smooth field. There's quite a few obstacles that are happening uh, on there. So I think that's a good teaser for that. And, and oh, by the way, you know, not a Ford, just saying, uh, you know, first kickoff sponsored by Ford. 
Uh, so as we go in through this as well, uh, open terrain as Ford travels to the next location, which appears to be a parking lot uh, where a Mustang pulls up and the black tote is transferred. And I think this is a pretty obvious hint here that there's going to be some sort of passing amongst the robots uh, in the crate. Uh, but I think what really pops to me is actually the color of the vehicles. If you notice on here, we have a red truck and we got a blue Mustang. There she is. Yep. There's Eleanor. So really interesting here. Could this be uh, some sort of uh, aspect of either cooperation being brought back or some sort of passing happening between the alliances? I think that's uh, very interesting uh, with that as well. Uh, also, by the way, uh, I, I think, you know, some of these things could be obviously representative of the robots. Uh, so don't build your robot with the trunk space of a Ford Mustang uh, and only carrying one toad. Hopefully you can carry more than one. We've only seen one, though, with this as well. Next, I think this is uh, quite interesting. Coming up, we have the uh, vintage uh, baby stroller. Uh, by the way, where the heck do they find this thing as well? But also blue in color. Uh, you know, if, when I first saw this, I'm like, oh, everything's going to be red or blue as we go through. And that's actually not the case. Uh, you'll see on here that not quite uh, too many other things are going to be red or blue as we go through this. But love the vintage stroller uh, as well and really curious more where they found what attic they found. Maybe maybe some crazy uh, attic they found this in. So uh, some quick shots uh, coming up here after the stroller leads. We have the uh, vintage uh, Ford truck. Super cool. Uh, they're putting that into. Uh, it does have uh, on the side, if you look up here, uh, this word up here is deliveries. Uh, so I think once again, adding on to that teaser that you're going to need to deliver the black tote or whatever's in the black tote for that as well. Uh, next, a bus as we start to see uh, different locations around the world. Uh, what's that's going on here? Um, and uh, we'll point out the first one here. If we, uh, there, it's going to be hard to capture exactly at the moment, but a couple things. Uh, that we can guess that this is actually in Turkey. And the first thing is uh, up here is actually a promo for a TV show. Uh, I'm sure going to mispronounce this, but Teskalat uh, is a TV show uh, in Turkey. Uh, and then this word right here, which once again, I'm, I apologize to uh, any of our Turkish speaking friends, uh, but Toplu Ulazmida, uh, which is, I believe is Turkish for public transport on there. So kind of cool to see that we're in Turkey uh, for a little bit. Uh, and then we hand off, uh, into the uh, golf cart. Uh, this one's tough. I can't really tell where this is going to be if we look at just some of the symbols on here. Uh, it does have kind of a standard handicap uh, symbol or the uh, international uh, access uh, symbol on here as well, or international symbol of access. Uh, but I said it's pretty international, so I'm going to guess this is the U.S. here. A lot of stuff is filmed that looks like in the U.S. moving forward, and we get a couple cool locations uh, later on as well. Next, we have a uh, forklift, which I think is a great clue for lifting the tote on there. That will be required, and there's going to be different points, maybe based on how high you lift or uh, like where the tote's delivered. Maybe there's certain slots you can put the tote into, that sort of thing. That's what pops in my mind for that. Let me know what you think in the comments, by the way, of uh, what's going to happen with the black tote. Uh, more transporting here with the tractor. Not quite sure why it's being transported by the uh, backhoe and not in the front of the tractor, but we see different kind of spots and locations where uh, these uh, uh, allegories for robots essentially are are transporting these as well. Uh, next, we see a, uh, we really actually kind of get a good demo of why uh, Kit of Parts doesn't always arrive on time, uh, since apparently some of it's being transported by uh, Scooter as well. So that, you know, makes a little bit of sense to me. More carrying on the back of a truck, we clearly see uh, some, type of uh, freight elevator uh, dropping the hint again as we keep going on to this one right here. Uh, so the freight elevator uh, having that uh, piece right there, which is really cool. Uh, all right, the gondolas. Uh, not sure on the location. It looks a bit European to me. Uh, but once again, the toad's being transported in the air. Uh, so different elevations, different heights, that sort of thing. This is a fantastic shot, by the way. Uh, really love this shot. But uh, for those maybe did a little bit of looking up, this is clearly in Shanghai. You can notice by, uh, if we go back just a second here, a couple of the elements uh, that are here. We have the uh, Shanghai Tower uh, right here. And then the right next to the Shanghai World Financial Center is right next to it as well. I, I don't remember what this is called, but uh, really neat to see. Uh, hopefully uh, uh, that means, you know, as first is 
looking to kind of rebring back teams and grow again. Uh, that the for those who remember, uh, there's a big issue with having first events in China a couple of years ago. So hopefully that solves. Uh, I love first being a worldwide program. Let's put all politics aside for that. It's great to see this program grow and uh, bring in more youth and get them excited and engaged with this. So really cool shot of Shanghai. And of course, yes, more water. Yes, we know more water first. We got it. So a few more quick shots uh, as it goes through on this. So we have the escalator, which could be something like stairs for terrain, the ambulance, which I think is really more about uh, delivering the tote. Um, as that departs more water with the canoe water. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and a lot more delivering uh, this as well. Uh, next one, interesting shot on here, crossing the street. Let's uh, take a look at a couple things on that, by the way. Uh, I think this is uh, Alex, by the way. So if it is, hi, Alex. Uh, nice shot there, crossing the street. Uh, and we do see a word as well, too, that I can pretty much guarantee this is uh, Turkey. I looked up this one. Uh, it's actually a, a name. It's a Turkish name uh, on there as well. Keep moving. A little bit of filler on there. Skateboard, meh, don't really, don't really get that. Maybe it's a hint or something. Uh, but if we go back to the train on here, we do see the uh, symbols SMT on here. Uh, stands for Shanghai Maglev Train. By the way, shout out the Dorsai and Chief Delphi for that one. Uh, so more of that as we keep moving through transportation, of course, as it's moving on the train and we see it going faster and faster. Not sure if that's a uh, potential for something in regards to the speed on there. Uh, Segway delivering uh, the tote. Once again, more transportation, more water. Uh, that we see as well. Uh, next up, uh, you know, in the inner tube, uh, bicycle doing it. JLG wear, uh, lift in the warehouse. Uh, cute uh, mini shopping cart with that. And then we hop back on the train. Uh, but interesting to see why it's on this black leather tote. I'm, I'm just assuming it's there so it doesn't slide around. But uh, who knows, right? Maybe they're just like it. It has something to do with it, and they're just trying to mess with us. You never know for something like that. So uh, next up. Uh, we have the uh, kids train uh, and then a plane uh, that it gets on. We got another plane later we'll talk about, too, uh, as we end up as well. Uh, on here, uh, convertible. Not a Ford, by the way. Come on first. Can we, you know, not dig in on Mazdas or Miatas or anything like that. But, you know, maybe make it a Ford. Just saying if you're going to, you know, we're going to have that. Uh, next up, uh, we have a snowblower, uh, motorcycle delivering. Uh, but afterwards, here's an interesting one. Let's pause it right there. You see the Greenfield Village Omnibus Company horse-drawn carriage. Uh, the Greenfield Village is actually the uh, Henry Ford Museum, essentially, in Dearborn, Michigan. So nice drop uh, for Ford there. Uh, but kind of a cool little uh, Easter egg if you took the time to look that up. Uh, Zamboni, of course. Uh, you know, for me, as somebody who's just in, at a Dallas Stars game, I didn't really know what was going on, but uh, of course, now I'm the hockey expert. I can tell you that one, ice is actually frozen water. And two, on um, there, if we look at uh, where this is located, we can tell this is uh, Canada. If you look up uh, Serpa.ca, it's a car dealership or a group of car dealerships uh, up in Canada uh, as well. Uh, specifically, Ontario, Canada, by the way. Uh, a few other things you see transport after this sled, going to a train, uh, once again, uh, bicycle. Uh, then to the boat. Uh, and then the uh, wrecker, uh, which apparently somebody on Chief Delphi uh, said this is in Beverly, Massachusetts. They actually were the find a Google Street View of this. So kudos uh, to John3928 for a nice uh, find there. Uh, the flex lift, uh, which can apply, you know, of course, transportation, but also lifting again with the tote. Uh, and then last off, uh, as we wrap up here, uh, we're actually going to see uh, what looks like to be Dean's plane. Uh, and shout out, by the way, to Cat321 uh, to state that this plane has been featured before in kickoff broadcast. And I remember that now that it's stated. I definitely would not have remembered that otherwise. Uh, but really neat to see uh, that and maybe some cool thing. Uh, I could actually see this being potentially like part of the kickoff video at the end, like Dean's coming off with a tote to deliver it to kickoff, that sort of thing. Uh, so who knows? Uh, but we do have uh, a date for our next one, episode four, uh, for the teaser drops on December 15th. Uh, so just about a month from now, three weeks as this is being uh, recorded on here. So not too much really going on, by the way, with the game elements or the piece, but a lot hinted here on what will happen to the game pieces. So uh, I guess we can say this is about transportation and travel, right? But let us know in the comments what you made of this teaser. Uh, but to me, I see lifting, 
replacing, possibly sharing pieces between alliances. And of course, we'll be back with another reaction next month, but we have lots of great content here on Fun uh, coming out, lots of behind the bumpers interviews. If you haven't caught those, some FTC content coming out. Uh, new stuff as we get into the 2022 season, we're very excited. Uh, and one thing I'll drop, we are gonna be starting a gaming league as well uh, with a few different games. So you can play uh, both casual competitive with your fellow firsters, so look forward to that. But don't forget to make sure that you like this video. It really does help us out a lot. Uh, subscribe and ring the bell and turn on notifications on your phone to keep up to date on all fun videos. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.